Hi, and welcome to our meditation and mindfulness session today. My name is Skyla Ramirez. Let's get started with just some mindful breathing to balance the left and right hemispheres of the brain. This is a technique called Nadi Shodana, and there are a lot of different variations of this technique. Ultimately, what we're attempting to do is to regulate the breath in such a way and manipulate the breath in such a way where you balance or you create just a little more harmony in way of communication between the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So basically just trying to get all systems online. And this can be really important if you've had a lot of stress. When we are stressed out, there are certain parts of the brain that are overactive and then other parts will be overactive. So we're gonna to try to kind of allocate and shift energy around. To get started, go ahead and come into any comfortable seated position for your body. I recommend that you maybe have your knees as high as your hips or put something under your feet and get the knees higher than your hips. This is just one way to maybe calm the energy in your low back and relax your hips. Tension can hide in your hips, and when it hides in the hips, it can also hide in your jaw. So, knees comfortable, lower back comfortable, hips comfortable. Now, lower your chin enough so that an egg could roll off your head. Let's begin with just a few heavy exhales from your throat. Inhale through the nose and exhale with a sigh. Let's try that at least one more time. All right, moving into our practice of Navi Shodana. You will be actively using your hands to close off one nasal passage at a time, only when you exhale. And again, there are a lot of variations on this. I like to consider this one the easiest variation of the energy balancing breath. So first, just inhale through both nostrils. Now close off your left nostril and exhale only out the right. Lips are lightly pressed together. Release, inhale through both. Close off your right nostril, exhale out the left. And we're just gonna continue with that pattern. Inhale through both. Close off left, exhale right. Inhale both. Close off the right, exhale left. Now just continue with that rhythm of inhaling through both, and then you're alternating just on the exhales. Try slowing down the exhale. So naturally the breath may all, already begin slowing down as we are channeling that exhale into one nostril only. But in any instance where maybe the breath is still rapid on the exhale, we want to slow down the exhale. So inhale big, slow on the exhale. Big breath in. Fully fill the lungs from the belly all the way up into your heart and slow exhale. Let's do one more on each side. You're going to end by exhaling on your right. Then just inhale, exhale through both nostrils with ease. Inhale through your nose. And as you attempt to exhale from the throat, notice that naturally some of the breath will move up and out from your nasal passages. Keep your lips lightly pressed together as if you were going to hum. Imagine that you're going to hum, but without creating an audible sound. So the amount of pressure that's applied between the lips and the amount of energy and awareness in your jaw and throat is ever so subtle. Inhale in through your nose. Lips are pressing as if you were going to hum, but without making a sound.
continue with this awareness of the breath with this ever so subtle energy invested into engaging your mouth, your throat, your jaw, that hum energy without making a sound. And now begin to see yourself seated wherever you are, whatever space you're in today. Perhaps even there is a part of you that can also step outside of yourself to witness your body seated wherever it is in space today. Recollecting around you what the room looks like within about a 10 foot radius. So center yourself in this space and begin to observe with a bird's eye view the space around you within a 10 foot radius. Notice what is in front of you. If you were to pan over to the left, what do you see? Pan over to the right. With a bird's eye view, notice what's behind you, 10 feet. Now at some point, we're allowing our awareness to expand beyond this 10 foot radius. And naturally in the physical world, there may be walls, windows, obstructions that would keep us from seeing. But sensing with this bird's eye view that you have a superpower and you're able to see through windows, through doors, through walls, and even down below you into basements, above you, beyond the ceiling. Expand your awareness now about 25 feet beyond your body. Notice what's in front of you. Pan over to the right. Again, any physical obstructions are only illusions at this point. Pan over to the left. With a bird's eye view, notice what is behind you. Now notice what happens when we expand our aware awareness well beyond the building that you're in today. So not knowing how many feet could be in front of you, behind you, or to the left or right, but simply center yourself now and take a bird's eye view above the building you're in and center yourself having a deep sense of where you are and awareness of where you are positioned in space and time. If you were to expand awareness out one mile beyond your body, notice, be aware of where you are in space. Now allow awareness to expand out even more beyond your centeredness a mile from the building. Where are you in this universe? Perhaps not fully understanding or fully being able to grasp the vastness of space and the universe, but having a sense of feeling centered in this grand space. Again, with a bird's eye view, notice the expansiveness in front of you, well beyond the horizon. Expansiveness behind you. Centering ourselves in the universe knowing what's below us and above us, to the left and the right. Perhaps even sense now that you are centered, not only in the universe, but centered in an orb of energy that is infinitely expanding. As you inhale, 
We sense this infinite expansion. As you exhale, consciousness may contract, but awareness continues to expand. Now maybe just when you inhale, breathe in, hearing the sound ah. And at this point, you could even open your mouth, relax your jaw. And as you inhale, breathing in the sound of ah, without having to make an audible sound, the sensation may feel similar to a yawn. Notice a coolness that moves in, brushing along the soft palate, the roof of your mouth, inhaling ah, relax, exhale, hearing the sound ta. Inhaling ah, continue to sense infinite expansion. You're taking up space that goes well beyond the physical form. Exhaling, hearing the sound ta. The chant of ata, rhythmic with every inhale and every exhale, encourages us to stay present, stay grounded in this moment. Let's practice the next five to seven quiet rhythmic breaths. Silently chanting, inhale, ah, exhale, ta. Now simply soften your whole body, turn the palms up, touch your thumb to your index finger, inhaling, hearing the sound, sa. Relax on the exhale, inhale, sa. Exhale, relax, touch your thumb to your middle finger, Inhale, hear the sound, ta. Relax, touch your ring finger to your thumb. Inhaling, hearing the sound, na. Relax on the exhale. Inhaling, na. Exhale, relax. And finally, thumb to the pinky finger, inhaling, hearing the sound, ma. Exhale, relax. Inhale, hearing, ma. Exhale, relax. Now, you're welcome to open your eyes or keep them closed as you silently chant and rhythmically touch each finger, starting with the index finger, sa, middle finger, ta, ring finger, na, pinky finger, ma. Repeat that pattern, tapping from the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger to the thumb. Beginning the chant with the index finger, sa, ta, na, ma. You can say it out loud, you can whisper it, or just say it through the mind. Index finger, sa, ta, na, ma. A few more, chanting it silently to yourself. Each syllable taps each finger beginning with your index finger. Sa, ta, na, ma. Try it silently three to five times.
Now relax your hands. Take in a big breath in through the nose and exhale from your throat. From here, open your eyes. Sweep the arms overhead as you inhale. Sweep them back as you exhale. Let's do two more like that. Inhale. Exhale back. Getting a hard reset on the nervous system. Nadi Shodana. And then the Satanama chant. It's known as Kirtan Kriya. From here, hands come to the heart in closing. Take in a big breath. And now let it go with a sigh and bow. Namaste. Go enjoy the rest of your beautiful day.